How's it? IndianCowboyDocSports.com. Getting you a very late video today, Wednesday, January the 19th, but let's get straight to it. Have your free pick winner in just a second here between the Pistons and the Kings. It was just too good for us to pass up, so we'll go ahead and give it to you. Um, right before that, I tell you what's up in our neck of the woods. Hello, I am Indian Cowboy, and this is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy has been around for um, 18 years now, and Doc Sports has been around for 52 years. been around a long time. And uh, how this works, our best selections are over at DocSports.com. Uh, those are our premium selections, Indian Cowboys premium selections. Our next best selections are the YouTube premium selections, which we do an extra video for you every day. Today's YouTube premium, I'm going to give you everything. I'm going to give you the NHL premium. I'm going to give you the NBA premium. I'm going to give you the college basketball premium. And I'm going to tell you our YouTube premium. Because we're getting the video a little later and we didn't do a video yesterday, so I'm going to hook you guys up in a big way. But there's also a live show tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern uh, for YouTube live show as well. Be sure to check our consensus polls on Twitter and our latest trends as well on Twitter, which can be very useful, including our trivia question of the day, which is always fun. Um, what do we have on tap today? Well, we have a uh, four-unit NBA selection today. Um, nice four unit winner yesterday on the uh, Golden State Warriors. A lot of people are on the Pistons, but we went against the Pistons. Um, just thought the Warriors were going to do well with Clay at home, and they did. Uh, one and two in college basketball yesterday, but we'll try to bounce back today. NHL is still over 60% on the year, plus 3,500. Football has been phenomenal, plus 6,800. Three and one last week, three and one the week before. Um, you know, not to mention we're 14 and six in top plays for the football season. 11 of those 14 were outright winners. Football card comes out tomorrow. We'll talk about all the football games this weekend. It's the best football season we've ever had, so keep that in mind. Um, all right, let's get your free play winner today. For your free play winner today, uh, give us the Detroit Pistons today, plus uh, the, I like Detroit here, uh, plus the seven and a half. Uh, I know the line is jumping way in favor of Sacramento, but that's okay. Um, you know, nobody's giving Detroit a chance after their loss to the Warriors yesterday. But uh, people forget that Detroit, even though they didn't cover against Golden State and Phoenix, uh, they did beat Toronto 103-87. They got routed by Chicago, but they did beat Utah 126-116. Uh, they beat Orlando as well. Um, they've actually covered you know, against three pretty decent teams. And as they come off that loss to Golden State, they didn't play particularly bad. I mean, people... You know, Detroit, yes, they were down by, you know, I get it. I get it. They were down by about uh, 28 in the first half. Uh, but people I actually don't think Detroit's a bad team uh, in the sense that they're actually decent for a cover. You don't accidentally beat Toronto and you don't accidentally beat the Utah Jazz or the Orlando Magic. They also beat Milwaukee on the road and San Antonio. And I think after getting embarrassed on national television, I think plus the seven and a half isn't a bad idea. And plus Sacramento has Milwaukee on deck too. So they simply could be just looking ahead and we will take the Detroit Pistons plus the seven and a half. And it's a late night game tonight at 10 o'clock. So you got plenty of time to get it in at 10, 10 for your free play winner today. I also like Virginia Tech minus the one that's an extra lean there against NC State. They have revenge from losing to NC State early this year. They were up big on NC State and then they fell short. Um, you know, Virginia Tech did beat Notre Dame last game. They shot lights out 60% and 50% from uh, two-point land and three-point land. Uh, NC State's a red-hot team right now. However, um, it's hard to go against NC State. I get it. But Virginia Tech actually played quite well against Notre Dame and they shot the ball really well. They got a little revenge too. So I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them play well here. Like Wake Forest and Georgia Tech over the total. Very small here. Um, a line here, Wake Forest. But Georgia Tech sh shot so poorly in their last game in North Carolina when they got routed. And I think Wake Forest also does pretty well, too, on the offensive side. They just ended up facing a really tough Virginia offense. And I bet you they come back out. And uh, Wake Forest has a good time on the offensive end. Bounces back. Georgia Tech does the same thing. They've actually started to win a couple conference games as well. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see that game go over the total. Also like the Timberwolves today against the Hawks. Wolves are off of... Um, the New York game yesterday where they won by a couple points. And the Hawks, um, they did beat Milwaukee last time around, but the Hawks also shot lights out at, at Minnesota last time, and they beat Minnesota. And I think Minnesota does not take Atlanta lightly here. Atlanta has already shipped out Reddish, and I think there's going to be a lot of changes coming ahead for the Hawks. And uh, as they come off of a win yesterday, I think they just have a little bit of a letdown here today. Um, finally, I also like uh, Pittsburgh plus the points against Virginia. I think Pittsburgh is actually playing really well right now. Um, and I think they're going to beat Virginia possibly outright here. UVA has won this game the last seven times, and it's a 10-7 and team versus a 7-10 and team. Virginia has not lost back-to-back -back games all year. I get it. They just lost a wake by eight at home. But Virginia was up by seven or so with 10 minutes left to go and then collapsed against Wake, and I get that. But Pittsburgh has played pretty hard at home. They nearly won all three at home, and they only lost Notre Dame by a point. So Virginia on the bounce back here after the collapse with Pittsburgh having a little bit of revenge here. Who do we like? We're going to go with Pittsburgh at home as the extra thought. There you go. That's what we have for you. YouTube Premium. I'll see you in a few minutes with a whole lot of Docs Premium plays and also your actual YouTube Premium selection as well. Hope you guys are doing great. Please take a moment and like and subscribe.